Hello everyone, Tiara here with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in to another soap making adventure. We are making the final soap in the August Chef Update. You know what that means. We're moving on to fall. All the September soaps are autumn inspired. My favorite time of the year. I'm so excited. I got my birthday. Bash's birthday is coming up. Brad's. I feel like everyone's birthday kind of falls in the fall. There's so many birthdays to keep track of, but I'm most excited about Sebastian's birthday. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Like I said, we are making the final summer inspired soap today, and it's called Tropical Vacation. Since it's the last one of the summer collection, I wanted to go all out. I had to be crazy, intricate, and fun with this. I made a cute little beach themed design with like an umbrella inside of it. I don't know how I pulled it off because it was a lot of work, it was a little bit messy, and I didn't know what I was going to get when I cut into it, but I was very surprised. It turned out looking a lot better than I was expecting. <laughs> um, it is available in today's shelf update alongside the Eucalyptus Rain, Lavender for Luck, uh, Crazy for Coconuts, Butterfly Friends. There's also a restock of House Wisdom in there. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen I already released a few autumn and like pumpkin Halloween stuff um, in the shop, like that cauldron bath bombs. I did them last year. I haven't made a video on them, but I did make one for TikTok. They sold out so fast last year that I didn't even have time to like post about them on my Instagram. So there's a few of those in there. Um, I also did some sugar scrubs, so if you're interested in any of that, the shop link is down below. Let me go get little sirs to come say hi to you. Ready? <gasps> Hello! Where's that baby over there? Hello! Ten months old! He's already starting to stand on his own, unsupported. Alright, I'm gonna be a big boy. Yay! He's like, I am so over this. I have no idea why you do this to me every month. <laughs> I swear, time is just flying and I say it every single time I have filmed one of these. Like, where has the year gone? I'm gonna have a one-year-old on my hands. He's gonna be walking soon. That's crazy. That, that's crazy. I'm a big boy. Right? I, as always, want to thank you guys for all of your support for coming to my channel and watching. If you feel so inclined, I would love it if you would click the thumbs up button. And if you are new and haven't done so already, click the subscribe button. I love reading all the comments, so be sure to leave me any questions or comments down below. All the links to all my social media and my shop are in the description box. Yeah, this big boy. I just tired. Are you tired? I think he's, I think he's tired. Let's go make some soap, and this guy's gonna go take a nap. Say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> my column in bed in half and lengthwise and then I have this little cake scraper really I just want like these points at the top here and I'm gonna drag that through the soap to make a design but hopefully when I <laughs> when I turn it on its side and put it inside the soap and cut into it it'll look like little umbrella peaks so Something. Oh, I just ruined it. Maybe the send. No. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the design going on the end so you guys can see. Eh, something like that. Kind of looks, also looks like an egg. Like if I were to do an Easter soap or like a chicken soap, we can do half of an eggshell. That's an idea. So, this I'm going to lay off to the side with the 
brown holes that I made. It's gonna hopefully look like an umbrella <laughs> once I get it into some sand and water. So let's get the rest of the soap together. All right, back to do the rest of the soap. So off to the side, I, just, I had this idea to take some of that brown that I had left over and I just kind of made a little strip on the top of this. Hopefully it looks like the point to the umbrella. As I was making this, I was thinking, I don't know, I just had the suspicion that it's going to look more like a mushroom instead of a umbrella on the beach. So, I don't know, I'm now dreading making the soap. <laughs> Gross your fingers, this turns out how I, I want it to. Um, but, let's, let's go, let's do this. So I just added some coconut cream to my oils. I'm gonna stick blend that in and then add my lye solution, which I will whisk in because I'm working in layers here and embeds on the inside of the soap and I'm trying not to get too crazy with this design, but hopefully not stick blending it and just whisking the lye in helps me out here. So let's get started. So for the first layer, I want it to look like sand, and I have this golden brass mica that was from Soapbox Micas, which they are no longer a thing. I kind of try to remember to say that every time I use it. Any of those micas because, well, you can't get them anymore. So I'm gonna mix that in and see if I like that color. I have some soap shreds here. I thought it would be cool to put something inside of it to look like, I don't know, maybe seashells or sea glass. And then my fragrance, which I can't forget to add that. So let's blend that in. So I want to texturize this and make it look more like a dune of sand with the water going up to the umbrella. And then I'll fill it in with a different color blue and hopefully it looks like sky. If not, it's just gonna look like a bunch of water. <laughs> It'll be great. So let's see if I can get this to textured and stay and then get the umbrella stand in bed embedded in the sand stick it in the sand and see if it'll stay up and then we'll pour up the next layer all right let's see put it in this way got some electric blue by Nurture. Love this blue. I want this to be the watercolor. So I'll pour this up and stick the umbrella top in. Pour some more soap batter. I don't know before I hear this. And then I have some magic blue mica by M Micas and More to be the sky. And I'm going to have leftover batter from this. What I'm going to do is make some popsicle soaps with the leftover batter and some samples.
Okay, final layer to fill in the top of this loaf. I added some tropical teal by Nurture. I didn't scrape out my bowl. I mean, it's gonna have a little bit of this um, magic blue mica mixed in there as well. But we'll get this on and then I'll show you my embeds. It's not that bad. It's not that big of a mess, but is it going to look like what I wanted to? We'll see. <laughs> So I've tried to like shape the side up a little bit to cover up the top of that umbrella. I gotta remember, it'll, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, so embeds, <laughs> you guys, you can tell I did not think this out very thoroughly and then I was kind of like dragging my feet on making it in the first place because, well as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. I have some starfish, and I've got some seashells and I made these with the cold process batter that was left over from making the embeds and I wanted them cold processed because they're going to get cut into and it's so much easier to cut into cold processed soap than it is melt and pour. So that's the top of this. I also have some white bursting beads. These are from Brambleberry to sprinkle on top of there and of course I'll do some glitter. I love these embeds. I think it's my favorite part of this whole entire soap. That looks good. Have you guys ever found anything on the beach that was like a treasure for you? What is the coolest thing you have found on a beach? Funny thing is because I'm going to uh, South Carolina tonight. The last time I was there was eight years ago and I found a sand dollar, like a whole sand dollar in perfect condition. And I, I've found pieces of them before but I've never found a real one, like good to go. You, I know you can buy them but that's not the same. This was a whole not broken sand dollar and I kept it and it was the coolest thing ever. So I'm excited to see what I find at the Outer Banks on our trip. I had some left over and I'm like, do I continue sticking them on there? Do I rearrange these? Do I leave it as it is? I think I do. I just leave it as it is. Let's get some of these sprinkled on here. Uh, actually, I want to play with this a little bit more. <laughs> I, I need to texture it a little bit. All right, now I'm done playing with it. Sprinkle these bursting beads on this one side and I would well, typically I'd say I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and I'll come back and cut it but like I just said I'm leaving for, for vacation for a whole week as of tonight so as much as I want to cut into this tomorrow and see how my umbrella aka mushroom looks on the inside I am going to have to wait a whole week now leave it in its mold and it'll be fine to cut in a week. No problem. All right, now I think what glitter do I want to put? I just love the top of this. I at least love the top of this. I, I'm not like digging the inside and in love with the inside. I'm happy with the top of it. All right, I got some Eco Glimmer Sea Glass Biodegradable Glitter. Throw that on there. If you guys didn't see the unboxing of these glitters, it's Eco Glimmer and they are on Etsy. And so far I've been really happy with them. Super pretty. And I've liked every single one I've gotten. So I'll definitely go back and get more. All right, putting this glitter on here, spray it with the rubbing alcohol, I'll give you guys a close up. You will get to see the cutting in a few seconds. I am going to be dying on vacation, thinking about what the inside of the soap looks like. Or maybe I'll just I'll have so much fun that I won't even think about it, it won't even cross my mind, right? I've never gone on vacation with a child. Like, this is my my first kid. I've never taken a baby on vacation, so I don't even know what it's gonna be like. Do moms get vacations? <laughs> All right, close up and then cutting.
So this particular loaf has been sitting here for uh, two weeks. I just feel like when you get home from vacation, you got you got to take a vacation from a vacation, and really that just means cleaning my house and unpacking. But here's what the inside looks like, and I'm not disappointed in it at all. I don't think it looks like a mushroom at all. I think the little point at the top really helped. A little bit of a, the leak over here, which I didn't mean for that to happen, but it works. It still looks like the ocean water in the background so let's keep cutting into this i tell you guys you can probably hear all the fans going in here it is so humid it is about 96 degrees outside i am I'm miserable with this heat honestly when it gets this hot i start wishing for fall i'm over it hello little spider make me a little home on my soap cutter there we go Super cute. Funny thing is that after I made this soap, I got on Instagram and I saw Rockberry Soaps made a, it was, it was an umbrella, it wasn't like a beach scene, it was just like an umbrella with some raindrops on it, but the way she did her umbrella was perfection. And I was really hoping mine looked something like that and it does, I'm not disappointed. I did ask her for how, you know, her technique and how she did it. And she pretty much did the same thing I did, only she had a better tool to carve the pattern in with. I could have went a little deeper with it, but I was afraid my umbrella would come up looking um, a little short. <laughs> next time, I think, if there is a next time, I'm saying as if I want to make this soap again, I will make that umbrella pole just a tad bit shorter. But I am so happy with this design. The top is gorgeous. I gotta say that's my favorite part. <laughs> Not the intricate inside that I did. Um, I do love all the color blues in there. I love the detail in the sand of like the seashells that I did. And the little green specks in the umbrella. This smells so good. Mm-hmm. So this is available in the shop today. If you are interested in purchasing it, you can head over there and find all the August soap release bars. Got a little bit of something up there. It's like, how, how'd that sand get up there? I don't know. It's like a little island in the background. There we go. Look at that. And there's the top of it. So pretty. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new and haven't done so, think about sticking around for some more soap making adventures by hitting that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.